Welcome again, my friends, to On the Bench with the compliments of B-Mobile, TNT's number one mobile network. Right now, we are touching base with Keon Daniel out of Lambo, Tobago. Another one of our national players represents the red, the white, the black, our senior team. And we're going to find out some more about Keon, his experience, his history, and his vision for the future. Keon, welcome to the program. Man. Yes, welcome. Again, I must say that coming from Tobago, um, you have to, to me, I, I believe, uh, be a, a true cut above the rest. I could well imagine. Tobago has a lot of great players. We have known this for years in the secondary schools league. But in terms of the balance, they have always been like probably one or two at any given time players from Tobago on the national team. And here it is. You have emerged as a shining star from the sister aisle. If you could just share with us some of your, your history, the school you played for, how this whole dream and passion started for you, man. Yeah, well, really and truly came from from quite a long time ago, like four or five years ago. Well, four or five years old, I mean, you know, started playing. And from there, you know, I, my my little cousins started running about with me, playing, kicking out the bottle, you know, how it is, mm -hmm. as a youth man. And then one of my, my bigger cousins come, took me, came me to Bertil Scotland School. Bertil, yeah. Yeah, and then they I start training, you know, and... As a youngster, you know, I look a cut above the rest of youths too. So, you know, I start playing with big guys and sort of things. And from there, I come uh, do come an entrance. I went to Elizabeth College for one year. And then I went over to Signaya. Because of the football, you got a transfer in front Yeah, of. well, Bertil organized all of that okay. as well. Because, you know, most times Bertil sees about Signaya. That's right. So, it, due to that, now, you know, I came across and second form, start playing under 16, under 14, you know, graduate, go on to under 19, you know, and from there, start playing in Tobago Zone, working hard, try to do my best, you know, and then, bam, the opportunity come, start to play under 20 national, and from there, you know, graduate to the senior team, and. When you got the call, when you got the, when the appointment was made, how, how, you, how you felt, man, how, what, it was made by a phone call, somebody gave you the info, an email, how, how did you receive that call or that, message that you're part of the national team yeah well i think it came from a, a a phone call yeah most times it comes from phone call and you know i feel great you know because as a youngster growing up you know watching people playing with the national team and grieving even though you know you're young mm -hmm. you know want to be there and so said you know so done you know, hard work now that you're there is it any different so what you expected is it more than you expected let me know about you know that whole transition of wanting to be there because of everybody in the room here myself and cameraman everybody wants to run out mm -hmm. for the national team sure but few of us really get that chance and here it is bam you're actually given the opportunity how, how different is it yeah well it's a good honor you know because i think the three quarter of the population in Trinidad play football and i think everybody wants to be here and i think everybody can't be here so i was really really glad to be here and you know, I thank all the people that really pushed me and gave me the, the courage and thing to do, you know. How hard is the, 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 the training? Let me know about the work rate off the pitch and on the pitch to, to stay on that level and stay part of the senior 11. Yeah, well, I think it's, it's, it's real hard work, you know, because it shows, you know, it shows on the pitch and also off the pitch. I think, you know, if, if you don't put in your hard work, I think the, the people, the public, you know, would see that, you know, you don't would be around the national team. And I think, you know, I just keep trying working hard. People, the, the heads that, you know, are wrong, keep saying, you know, work hard. The, my coach from back home, Bertil, always used to push me, keep working hard. And so said, so done. Especially as a young player too, because here it is, you know, you're given that chance and that opportunity. And I guess you want to prove yourself and you want to stay part of the permanent fixture. In terms of Bertil, how much um, has... You know, Bertil and even people like Dwight York from the sister have been a big influence to you. Well, young guy, you know, I used to watch Dwight York, you know, because he, he actually came from the same, yeah, same coaching school. Same and, establishment, the same, yeah, the same place. So, yeah. you know, back home there, we, you know, Dwight York, Dwight York, Dwight York. And I think, you know, we, I don't think we, we need one Dwight York. You know, we need, we need plenty more others. And I think it have plenty more others back home that, you know, coming up and would surely be a, 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 a shining star in time to come. And 
But Dwight Yoke was always one of my models, you know, as a Tobagonian coming out, you know. He always gave me courage to fight it, to, you know, make it, to go to the higher level and all that, you know. But I still say, you know, Bertel, I think he's a great man, you know, to be around. Yeah, because he, he's very encouraging. He has a vision, I guess, an eye, an eye, an eye for talent. Yes, yes, yes. That's right, ma'am. Let me know about, you know, one of your proudest moments so far, whether it be during the school days, the Tobago Zoom days, or even now playing for the senior team. Probably that shining moment, that moment that you look back and you always remember. Yeah, well, I think, you know, it's, 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 it's just recently, you know, when I get my chance you know, to play and start scoring goals for the national team. And I think, you know, the game against Cuba, I think, uh, I was really proud of myself, you know, for for bringing home a victory for us, you know. But I think it's a teamwork, not a a, a personal thing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I think that that really opened my eyes, and I was really glad about that situation. You know? In terms of the Cuba game, I know that was played um, in Cuba in Havana. That um, first leg, I know we're gonna face them on the nineteenth. I honestly didn't see the footage. What is your celebration like when you score a goal? Because I heard the goal you score was the best goal. When you score. A demon of a goal, a beauty of a goal. What's your form of celebration? You just go run, you skate, you just whine. What you do when you No, score? well, I just go celebrate with the guys, you know, because I think it's a, a, a team goal, you know, even though I scored it, I think it came from each and every player doing their part and working hard. And I just, you know, go celebrate and think the celebration together even better than me celebrating by myself. That's right, that's right. But you, you, you enjoy yourself. You enjoy yes, celebrating. Yes, 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 true. You must enjoy it. What? Feel good. Of course, of course, man. I want to find out the, the, the general spirit. I'm asking all the all the senior players this particular question. Just the spirit, the mood in the camp. Um, November 19th is when we, we face Cuba. We all know November 19th as a kind of terrible kind of kind of woman. On that particular day, we all remember what happened in 89. And even for those who look at this after the 19th, who will know the result. I sincerely believe we have what it takes to go to the final six in CONCACAF qualifying, but I just want to know the mood of the team. If you can let folks know what's the spirit in the country. Yeah, well, the, the, the mood is it's real good, you know, because I think the, the the last two games we played, you know, it was hard work and that hard work that we that we, we put in and get it out and it's really good, I, I could say, you know. I can't even explain how good it is. So we can safely say that that November 19th, Jumbi is going to be going to take off our back this time. Yes, of course, of course. Cool scene, man. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to mention to the young players? Because you're pretty much a, a young player now at the peak and, and getting into your groove. We know there are great things in store for you in the future. Um, we, we wish you an uh, injury-free uh, injury free and, and, and very successful career. But in terms of those who are looking on, who feel that they have what it takes and they have that desire, what are the particular steps? What words of encouragement and wisdom you want to send forward to the young footballers coming up? Yeah, well, I think, you know, first of all, you know, hard work. You know, hard work comes first, you know. You have to trust in God, you know, because I think anything you know, possible without God, you know. So I would just say, you know, try hard, believe in what you do, you know. I think, I think if you don't believe, it, it won't happen. You know, so I just hope that the youngsters believe in what they do. Stick to it, work hard, and forget the negatives. That's what I'll say to them. That's right, man. Respect you. Thanks for coming on the program. You know, we do it. Schoolsuckernet.com. That's how you're logging on and checking all this out. And we give thanks to B-Mobile, TNT's number one mobile network for making it possible. And we're giving you a chance. That's right, giving you a chance to touch base with the Warriors, with the young upcoming players, with the people on technical teams. But, I mean, all across the board. So. You're in the right place. Stay plugged on because you never know who we're going to have next. Until the next one, my friends, I'm Jason Williams.